So it's 8.30 uh, a.m. Friday, the day of my early weigh-in. And I'm going to check my morning weight right now to see uh, where I need to go from here. How much I need to lose throughout the course of the day. I'm not expecting anything um, too crazy. So let's check it out. So there we go, 199.6, about a pound, about two pounds to lose over the course of the day. I'm not even going to really have to try to lose that weight. Just the fact that I'm not eating or drinking much is going to uh, do the job for me. So I'm not too concerned. At any rate, I'll probably do some cardio while my, my girlfriend uh, trains today. I'm actually going to go bowling a little bit. Maybe that'll burn some some calories and uh, shed some water off me. Uh, at any rate, I'm not too concerned. Uh, my biggest focus right now is to is to uh, ignore the hunger pangs that are that are getting me, and uh, you know, try to. Uh, I'm in such a you know rhythm as far as what I do on a daily basis. It's kind of throwing me all out of whack. So uh, it's just mental from here on out. Um, probably. Gonna just uh, take it easy and hopefully get on the road at a decent hour and get to that way and then start the eating. So we're about uh, 20, 30 minutes away from the venue where I'm doing the early weigh-ins. And uh, it's been 23 hours since I last ate. So, you know, needless to say, I'm not feeling too great right now. Uh, I'm ready for it to be over and be weighed in so I can start filling back up. Uh, I, I hear people all the time who, who fast and say they, they experience this euphoric clarity and this real great sense of energy. And I'm obviously not one of those people because I feel like ass right now. <laughs> so, the... The sooner I get in there, the better, and the sooner I can start eating, the better, and I'll uh, start feeling a lot better. Um, before I left the house, I was 197.6. I imagine I'll come in around 197, maybe the 196s. Uh, I really am not worried about making weight at all. However, I did bring my sweatsuit just in case I need to go back to my old fat kid days of, of popcorn and football and run around in the parking lot. So <laughs> I'm fully prepared, and uh, hopefully the next time talking to you to be with a lot of sushi in front of me, okay? over and done with. Uh, we're heading home, about to head over this, the Sunshine Skyway. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, it was a good, great experience actually. Um, a lot of cool guys decided to show up for the meet. Paul, Adam, uh, Lane of course. A lot of cool, everybody was cool. So there's nothing, uh, it was nothing like a bodybuilding show. Uh, that was the first thing I noticed. Everybody was supportive. There was nobody mean mugging in the back. Um, and I just had nothing but fun, fun times uh, hanging out and BSing with everybody. As far as my individual performance goes, I'm very happy, but at the same time, I'm extra motivated to beat the beat some of the numbers I put up today. With the squat, 415 is what I settled with. Um, I probably could have got 430, but when I went for 455, it was just too much. Um, my squats really suffered for lately. I don't know why. I'm a little bummed about it, but I'm just thinking about running Smolov after uh, in, the, in the fall. So hopefully that'll that'll. Uh, drive it up. I'm really excited to try and, and improve that number because I used to be a much better squatter and as soon as I started squatting past parallel, my weak glutes have really uh, hurt that number. So in order for my total my total to go up, I got to increase the squat. Speaking of increasing the total, my bench numbers are the bench numbers. I, I'm pretty forward about how weak I am with them. 260 is what I settled on because I knew I could hit it. I went for two set, 275, bombed out on I got it halfway up. But uh, you know, it's something I need to work on. If everybody, if I hit my every, if I'm setting a PR every lift, you know, I, what would I have to work towards? Uh, at any rate, deadlift, of course, was my, my specialty going in. 
and uh, I warmed up to 475, felt good. I pulled 550. It, it was it was heavy, but I felt like uh, you know I had more in the tank. 550 was a five pound PR, so I got out of there with setting one PR, so that's nice. Uh, 575, I got it off the ground, which was great because I, I remember trying 585 and I couldn't even get it off the ground in the gym. So 575 got pulled off the ground, got past my knees, and then I hit that wall. I couldn't push my hips through, um, no matter how hard I tried. Maybe on a day where I'm not squatting max effort, maybe on a day where I'm not deadlifting 550 before that, 550 and 475 before that, maybe it happens. But this is all this is all conjecture. Uh, I didn't get I didn't get that number, um, so that's something I need to work towards. In the long run, uh, I think I can definitely hit that at this body weight. So that's what I'm working towards. My next goal. I have the powerlifting bug out here. There's going to be a meet in January in Port Charlotte, which is uh, just about 20, 30 minutes away from Sarasota. Uh, I want to hit that that meet up, and my my little short-term goal, uh, since I totaled 1225 today, I, uh, I when I started this this whole thing, this prep, I wanted to total 1200 or more, and I did. So uh, I'm happy with that. And uh, now I would like to total 1300. So 1225 today, um, 1300 is close. I just need to bring up some stuff and uh, hopefully with my diet being at maintenance and maybe a little bit of a surplus by then, I'll be a little bit stronger. I'm really going to work hard at the bench and the squat um, and of course the deadlift because everything has to come up. So uh, that's what I want to do. I would, I would love to say that I lifted uh, let's see, two, seven times my body weight, but I'll take 6.5. Um, 1200 total was nice, uh, but I want to get a 1300 and then a 1400 and then a 1500. Because I'm just that's how I am. Uh, if you have nothing, nothing to look to forward to in the gym besides getting a pump, uh, I think you're you're not going to stay interested in this game for very long. So uh, I'm addicted to the powerlifting, addicted to bodybuilding. So you know I don't know where it's going to take me, but I'm going to start busting my ass and try to bring my lifts up. But first I got to deload because I am feeling like crap. I'm not going to lie. You would think that only nine reps. Nine reps wouldn't be that bad on your body, but listen, with the adrenaline, with the amount of weight that you're pushing, it's a uh, it's a definite uh, unique experience. But anybody else thinking about powerlifting, if you're worried about being weak or making yourself look like an idiot, don't don't even worry about it. Because powerlifting is a great community, uh, at least from my experiences, and uh, it's a fun time. So that ends my powerlifting uh, my first venture into powerlifting and it's going to be a wonderful journey so hopefully the next uh, four or five months we'll be talking more about my prs and and how i'm uh, getting stronger